Okay, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So, today I'm going to be talking about my hair because I feel like I haven't been talking about my hair in like forever, which is weird. But, um, yeah, so let's talk about it right now. Okay, so currently this is how my hair looks after it's been washed. And I did re dye my hair or try to, and it didn't come out right. And I don't feel like re-dyeing it again. I mean, no one can really tell the difference. And um, I actually do get... Um, people asking me, is that my real hair color? And Which is weird because I've never seen anybody who has this hair color. And it's actually oh, their real hair color. I've never seen it. Um, but my hair is dyed. Um, I dyed it... Um, it is currently I am using L'Oreal Highlights in H5. It is their um, it's a it's a permanent hair dye, and you can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply store. I think you can only find it at Sally's Beauty Supply on the ground. I think that's the only way you're gonna find it. And um, yeah, I would suggest checking out Sally's Beauty Supply store before checking out anything, with anything else. If you want it to be permanent and if you want it to look great, I've tried box dyes and. Those dyes are crap. I don't feel like they do. They do nothing for me on my hair, so that's why I use um use the hair dyes that I can get at Sally's Beauty Supply Store because I feel like they're better. They do a better job. They they just look better, and yeah. But I may end up going back to being a dark darker color than this. I may either go back to black or go to blue black, but we'll see about that. Um. But yeah, so currently, okay, so about my, I'm, I don't really hair type my hair, but I do know that my hair is really kinky, it is really curly, and it, it, um, when my hair is wet, it's a lot, like, way longer than this, way longer than this. When it dries, it looks like it's still in a TWA stage, and it l likely is, um, but my hair is very, I have, my hair is very compact, not compacted, but my hair is very kinky, it's very curly, it's, it's beautiful, I love my hair, I absolutely adore my hair, um, and usually, even though I did say in the past videos that I was going to do, um, like more protective styles, I just can't do, I cannot do protective styles. It's too much of my time. It, I just, I can't. I work, I go to school, and most of the time I'm just working. And I, I honestly, I can't continue doing protective styles. So usually my hair is out like this. And sometimes I do try protective styles. Like, I did two, two I only do two strand twists and puffs. Like, that's it. Like, I do nothing else. And I honestly, I wish I could. I wish I could um know how to do um flat twists, but I don't. I suck at twist. I, I suck at doing cone rolls, much less flat twists. So I'm just that's. I don't know if I would ever do that. Um, but yeah. So the way my hair is is that even though it looks like it's in a TWA stage, it's actually longer than longer than how it looks right now um I have a lot of hair like a lot of hair even when I was relaxed I had a lot of hair like literally it took well because my mom she my mom she, what she would usually what she would usually do was take a perm and perm my whole head when really you're supposed to perm the whole head once and then perm the new growth she didn't know that I didn't know that I didn't know that until I started doing research because I thought that was normal so um I guess I could have went back to doing perms but I don't want to because I love my hair um I love my curls my curls are freaking banging and I just I'm not going to perm my hair ever again that's just not gonna happen but okay I'm still jibber jabbing So, 
currently my hair is like currently my hair is like right here so it's like right at my right at my the top of my neck so that is like right here it's like for if you can't see it's like right here and the back back right now is like it is right here like past the neck but past this bone right here and it's like right here right now so yeah I, I truthfully I don't do much this hair and I honestly I'm just gonna say this I literally don't take out um the knots in my hair like I take them out every day um but when I wash my hair I don't separate I do not I don't do any of that I should but I don't and that's a bad habit of mine but yeah that's basically it um I don't know if my hair is high porosity low porosity my hair has always been well my hair has actually always been low porosity but the fact that my hair is now dyed is now high porosity um so any hair that grows in it's low porosity um so that's why I want to stop dyeing my hair because I want to fix that problem that I have I literally don't have problems with protein um I can basically put protein in every day wouldn't have problems you you shouldn't do that. I don't do that. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, that is everything about my hair. I don't really know what else to say about it. Um, other than it's still growing. Um, I've been natural for, like, going on three years now. It's going to be... I went natural in August 2012, 2011, excuse me, and I was, I've been natural for about two years and a couple of months now, so yeah, in total, it's going to be three years, it's going to be, yeah, it's three years and a couple of months since, um, since I cut my hair off and I'm two year well yeah I don't know about all that year stuff all I know is that I've been three years post natural so that's it that's all I know so yeah hopefully you enjoy this video please comment like subscribe and I will see you guys in my later videos bye guys